Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by coming on the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, where we talk facts over feelings. As you can see, I'm talking about the Miami Hurricanes win over Florida State, 36-14 at the Hard Rock Stadium. Tonight, I just got back from the game about 15, 20 minutes ago. I will tell you this, it was not impressive. It was not impressive. And if you're a Hurricane fan and you walked away excited about that performance, you're just excited because they beat Florida State. But before we jump in, thank you to our followers and subscribers for continuing to support our channel. Please do subscribe, pound that pound that like button, hit the bell, and also become a member of our po- podcast where we'll be dropping live stuff very, very shortly. And if you haven't done so already, please jump on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there also. Like I said, I wasn't impressed. Miami won 36-14, but that was an ugly, ugly ass game. That was the worst game Cam Ward's played. Uh, he did threw for 208 yards. He threw no touchdowns, no picks. I will say it was a clean – Miami played a clean game offensively, no turnovers. But, bro, that was not a pretty game. If you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. Miami had the ball for over 35 minutes. They they had 445 yards of offense to 248 for Florida State, 31 first downs to 14. But I got to say this. Florida State sucks. Like, they really, really suck. And that was like playing varsity versus JV – where the varsity was just dicking around. And the problem with dicking around is that dicking around creates bad habits. And bad habits are the last thing you want to have happen as you're going to the final four games of your season. You want to be playing your best football these last four weeks. And your best football in the ACC championship. And your best football in the college football playoff. And I don't see that right now. Am I am I happy Miami won? Absolutely. 8-0 is great. 8-0 is 8-0. You won. You see how hard it is to win in football. Ohio State damn near lost today to Nebraska. I mean, God, I thought Nebraska gave that game away. But my goodness, you see Alabama's recovered. So Alabama, watch out. Alabama's going to sneak their ass right back into that freaking playoff. They're going to sneak their way. Mark my words. They're going to sneak their way back into the playoff. But looking at this hurricane game, the Hurricanes get the ball to start the game, and they go right down the field and score, make it 7 nothing. And you're thinking, this is what we want to see. But I thought this was about as bad a game plan as I could possibly imagine from this team. Xavier Restrepo was largely ineffective. He was not utilized. Very, very odd. He's our best wide receiver. Our, I'm a Hurricane fan. He's our best wide receiver. He had four catches, 24 yards. We did nothing downfield. Our longest play from the scrimmage was 21 yards in the air. And our Damian Martinez had a 53-yard run on an incredible run where he was literally sucked in the damn pile, somehow gets out of the, the traffic and goes for 53 yards before being tracked down. But passing-wise, our longest play from scrimmage was 21 yards against Florida State. Florida State's terrible, bro. Like, next level bad. This team is bad, bad. And I will tell you this, Mike Norvell should be proud of his team because this game was 23-7 to going into the fourth quarter. Going into the fourth quarter, it is 23-7. Miami settles for three different three field goals, runs themselves out of drives, doesn't, does, is not crisp, not executing. They give up a touchdown to, I mean, Jeez, Louise, they gave up a touchdown to Luke Cromen Hoek. Well, he didn't he didn't score the touchdown, but he set up the touchdown. He's the Florida State third string quarterback who came in for Brock Glenn. I don't know what's going on there where Brock Glenn starts the game and then doesn't play for the next three quarters until the final possession. Doesn't make a lot of final two possessions, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But that's what FSU did. Roman Heck has a 42-yard run that sets up a touchdown that made it a, what, 14-7 game at the time? 14-7? Yeah, it made it 14-7 with 6.44 to go in the second quarter. It was a fourth and one or fourth and two, and they went for – FSU went for a fourth down over and over and over again. They went for fourth down. I mean, how many times they went for fourth down tonight? I don't, they don't show it here on the ESPN box. The ESPN box isn't very good. Oh, I'm sorry. Seven times. They're four for seven on th- fourth down. They went for it seven times. Well, on this particular fourth down, he's running a, basically a quarterback sneak, and it looked like he might have gotten stuffed or was about to get stuffed, and then he 
somehow gets pulled out of the pocket and goes eight, 42 yards and then trips on his own feet because he otherwise would have scored himself. Again, another example of Miami giving up big plays. Defensive lapses, bad tackling. It was That first half was dreadful. It was dreadful. Field position was never really good for most of the game. You're not you're not getting three and outs for most part. I mean, I don't th- I don't know how many three and outs the, the the Canes got defensively. You know, except for the first possession three and out, but then it was seven plays, twelve plays, nine plays, six plays, eight plays. Okay, here's another three and out. Yeah, they only had three and out twice the whole game. This is an offense that doesn't move the ball. They only had 248 yards, but when you give them even a first down, it changes field position. I was not impressed with this game at all. And I thought the game plan was terrible. And I'm gonna tell you why. Game plan offensively, they never went they never went over the middle. Miami never went over the middle. There were no crossing routes, no quick slants, none of it. Nothing down the nothing down the seam. None of it. Everything was stretch wide left, stretch wide right, swing, swing. Everything was a, everything's to the outside. And I'm sitting here watching, I'm like, what are you doing? No timing routes, nothing like that. Cam Ward made some heroic plays at times in this game. He had he had a a reverse that you know passed back to him for a touchdown that made it 29-7. Uh, and then Mario Chris goes for two. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, why? 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 Miami makes it 29-29-7. Bro. I, I makes it 29-7 with how much time was left? 4:32. 4:32. I makes it 29-7 on a, on a on a pass from Elijah Roy to Cam Ward, and you go for two. There's four and a half minutes to go. You're up 22 points. Why? Why? Kick an extra point. Are you really looking at analytics and saying we we could be up 24? Really? Really? FSU couldn't score. FSU can't move the ball. FSU has no quarterback. Like, they're awful. What are you doing? Do that against a team that's good and you, 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 you cost yourself points. For what reason? It, it, these things don't make sense. They don't make sense. And then FSU, Miami stops FSU, and then Miami scores and puts it away on five play 83. This is where Damian Martinez had the 53-yard run, and then he scores from a 12-yard run. And I'm glad they punched it in. I'm very happy they punched it in. Because they should remember the fact that FSU beat the crap out of them two years ago on that field, 45-3. And I'm very happy they punched it in. Because you know what? Scoreboard matters. Scoreboard matters. I know you want to think it doesn't matter. It fucking matters. And that's why that touchdown that FSU scored on the last possession, where Miami gave up a fourth and five, I mean, that gave them a first down. There was a penalty here on a, on a second and 10 on a pass interference. There, there, there was, it's just like we the, the dumb penalties that Miami can commit, but they don't keep their lanes. They give a, a, a third and 10 run to Brock Glenn for 11 yards. Pass rush was, tr- was, was awful. So that last touch that made it 36-14 with 18 seconds left, that shit bugged me. Because that will be on the scoreboard. 36-7 looks a lot better than 36-14. Miami covered the spread. The spread was 21. But if I'm a Florida State fan, I feel happy with what happened tonight. I feel happy. Because I knew I was going to lose. But Miami let them stick around. I never felt worried about losing the game. I mean, it was 17-7. This team can't move the ball. 23-7, like, man, they're not going to lose. They're not going to lose the game. But they're going to make this shit un- un- unnecessarily interesting. I'm sorry. I guess, uh, you know, unnecessarily interesting for no reason. For no reason. How many field goals Miami set? I mean, Miami settled for so many. Three field goals. Miami had an 18 play drive, 88 yards, and gets down to the fucking two yard line and can't punch it in. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where, like, like here's, here's one for example. It's third and 10. Cam Moore completes a, a pass to Isaiah Horton for 21 down to the FSU 13 with 31 seconds. The next snap Miami gets is with 14 seconds. Mario Cristobal, I got it. You, you, I like. 
You call time out. Call time out. You had two. Call the time out. You're at the 13. It took 17 seconds to run the play. Instead of being up 21-7, you kick a field goal, you're up 17-7. Let that be a good team. That could cost you a win. This is basic. Call timeout. What's going to happen at 31 on the pass to Horton? You probably got another 10 seconds. So guess what? Instead of on Cam Ward's run that gets you down to the two-yard line with seven seconds to go, you got now one fucking play. You've got one play left before you have to before you have to kick. Instead, you might have 24 seconds of the 14. Yeah, you're at the 11, you're at the 13 yard line. But these are the basic mistakes this staff makes. People will say I'm being hard on them. No, I'm not. I want to win. I want to I want this team to win a championship. And I tell you right now, college football is very wide open this year. Miami has probably the best offense in the country when they run it. But today, this team scored 52 points at Louisville last week. And you get stopped by Florida State kicking field goals? 36. This game should have been at least 48-14. At least. An 18, like nothing was down the field today. Nothing. Like they had not, no big plays. None. Outside the Martinez run, they had no big plays. Nothing. Like, I, I, I'm like, do you not know run play action? You ran the ball well. They run nothing. They throw no crossing routes over the middle, no slants. They didn't do that until late in the game. Like the middle of the field on FSU's defense was wide open the entire game. The entire game. I'm like they had a 13 yard, 13 play, 95 yard drive, 18 play, 88 yard drive. That's an example of field position because your defense is giving up seven plays, 25 yards. Three, I mean, nine plays, whatever, like 29 yards. Like, like this is what's happening. Long fields, long field, long drives. I mean, long drives. 18 plays, that's a lot of damn plays to get a field goal because you don't manage the clock properly, Mario? Like, bro, I mean, you got to learn to manage this clock, bro. It is un it's unbelievable. There's no one that knows how to manage the clock on this program. You call the timeout after you had an incomplete pass. Like, think about that. Their field goal, Miami kicked the field goal, make it 17 7 before the half, right at the half. There's three seconds left. Miami calls timeout after an incomplete pass. So they burned, they used their third timeout after the ball, the, 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 the clock was dead. It was a 20 yard kick. If you drew a five yard penalty, big deal, the 25 yard kick. What do you like, like? If you call that timeout after the damn freaking pass that you completed to Horton, you have a chance to put a ball in the end zone. But they did nothing over the middle. They're running everything stretch. These these wide receiver screens left and right never worked. They were bad. I know I sound like a whiny bitch right now, but Miami is so much better than Florida State. This is the worst game Miami's played all year. I don't want to hear that FSU played well. I was there. I saw the holes where I sit. I see the field very, very well. And I'm watching the game on my, I have my tablet with me and I'm watching replays. I see that field from the angle. I sit very, very well. All the shit that's so open. And they're not even running routes across the middle of the field. I'm talking about stuff like this.
or you have a receiver here, receiver here, and they're no, and they're boom, 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 boom. Okay. They're never running with a tight end on the edge on a on a four wide. They're usually running so scratch that one off. They're running with a running back. So let's say they're like this, right? You see what I'm so showing you? They ran nothing like this. Like they ran nothing that indicated like it would be crossing. Everything was on. They ran most of their shit here, here, and everything here. They ran most of their stuff with this, this, and this, and this. And they're running screens against Florida State. I, I, I mean, come on, come on. 36 points in this fucking team. 36 points. And look, I know. Touchdown, punt, touchdown, field goal, field goal, field goal, touchdown, touchdown, end of game. It scored every single possession except for the first one. The second, I'm sorry, the second one. It scored every possession. But they only got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight real possessions. They only got eight possessions in this game. This game was a very, very, and defensively, made no plays. Defensively, made no plays. I'm being real. Made no plays. They did not turn FSU over once. This was a zero turnover game on both sides. Very, very clean. Now, there's a guy on this defense that will make me pull the rest of my beard hair out because I watch him and I cringe. It is Jaden Harris, number seven for Florida, Miami Hurricanes. Jaden Harris is a sophomore DB, and he watching him play DB makes my stomach turn. I hate calling the kid out, but God, dog, bro. You drop one pick. Yeah, you dove. You dropped it. Catch the fucking ball. And the other, there's another one where he's looking at the ball. It's floating in the fucking air. Floating. And he's looking at it like, I'm going to go catch it, and I'm going to go pick six. Except you didn't catch it because you couldn't. you were too far from it. However, had you laid out and dove for it, you probably would have intercepted that ball. I watch him play and I get frustrated because that man misses so many. He finishes with two tackles. He misses a lot of tackles. A lot of tackles. Like the, the missed tackles by this team, this defense, bro, it's crazy how many tackles this team misses. Crazy. <clears throat> FSU ran 60 plays. Miami had 38 total tackles. 60 plays. So that means a lot of incomplete passes. You don't get a tackle on it, all that stuff. I get it. But three sacks. One by Key Mesdor, one by Ruben Bain, one by Simeon Barrow. Three sacks, four TFLs. So literally only one and a half more, one more TFL than sacks. They were not in the backfield. They could not stop. They, they, they just, they were there. They were there. But they weren't good. They weren't great. This team can't move the ball. I mean, FSU's offense is really bad. Well, FSU fans know it. This offense is really freaking bad. And I thought for the most part, FSU fought. They did the best they could. But the best you can, like Miami should have beat this team 50 to 10, 50 to 7. I'll tell you right now, FSU shouldn't have scored. Should have been a shutout. If I'm, if I'm watching film tomorrow in Miami, I'm embarrassed they scored them twice. I'm embarrassed they scored on me. That was disgraceful. That was shameful. And you got to play Duke next week. And Duke beat FSU, and FSU didn't score one offensive touchdown against Duke. Their only touchdown against Duke was a kickoff return. And that's Manny Diaz coming back to Miami. You know he's going to have some passion and fire in his belly. He wants to beat Miami bad. No question about it. You can't come and play like this. You play like this, you lose. Duke is not a bad team. Duke right now, six and two. Six and two team. Actually, they lost today to SMU, 28-27. SMU's good. Remember what SMU did to Florida State. SMU's a good squad. What the hell happened here? How'd they lose? Duke went for a two to win. Wow. They went for a two to win in overtime. 
They went for it. Yeah. Manny Diaz went for the win. They were down 21-7, came back and tied the game with with nine minutes to go in the game. That, that's impressive. I mean, I think SMU is really good. They're seven and one. <clears throat> this is a home game for Duke. Look, th- this game is down here against against Miami. I I, I would expect Miami to win. But are, is Miami going to make it convincing? Because right now Duke has two losses. One was to Georgia Tech by ten, and one to SMU by one. I, I they're not a bad team. They're not a bad team. I mean, they don't have big, like they don't have any monsters. I mean, they they beat Carolina, North Carolina, they beat for, they beat Florida State, but the rest they're 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 not. They beat Northwestern at Northwestern. I mean, Northwestern's not some world beater, but they are a Big Ten school. And there's gonna be some fire in Manny Diaz's belly for this one. I I just think they need to be ready to go. But man, th- today was a bad performance. Today was a, was not pretty. Not a pretty game. Not at all. Not impressed. I kind of sat there most of the game, like not even cheering, because I was just it was the it was just like okay. I cheered the first touchdown and I cheered the touchdown that Cam Ward had scored and I cheered the last touchdown. Like, but overall, it was like this is this should be too easy. This should be easier, but we made it hard. We made it hard. I I don't know why we make things so hard. Every game does not have to be a fight. <laughs> like FSU had no shot. So when people are saying, oh, it's never – FSU had no shot in this game. None. Miami had a better shot last year than FSU had this year. That's how bad FSU is. Because Miami wasn't this bad last year. And I do think Florida State overlooked Miami a little bit. Um, But, yeah, that was not a – I mean, folks, if you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm off my rocker, you can say it. Put a comment. Put a, put a comment on it. I'd love to hear your opinion. I do not I do not think there was too much Cam Ward ad lib, way too much. Nothing was just a crisp, like three step drop, bop, nothing. Nothing the whole game. None of it. When Restrepo's not involved in like he, he wasn't just not involved in today's game. If you don't have Restrepo involved, you see what happens to Miami's offense. This is the worst Miami's played all year, in my opinion. They scored more points in every other game than this game. A game that I for sure thought they'd pop 50 on these guys. That's all I got. I'd love to hear your opinions. Hey, a win is a win. You're 8-0. That's all you can ask for. But I'd like to see a team that has a fire in their belly and, and is looking to crush people. Because after Duke, Miami has to go to Georgia Tech. And Georgia Tech on November 9th is going to be a freaking dog fight people think it's not it's gonna be a dog fight i'm telling you right now tech is five and four they beat us down here last year on that oh by the way there's 10 seconds to go in the game and mario cristobal does not put his knee down he hands the ball why does this man not understand the concept of kneeling the ball down i don't get him at all 10 seconds left kneel the ball down game's over no he runs the ball I don't get it. I don't get it. It's weird. It's weird. But Tech will be a fight. But don't sleep on Duke. You better be ready to play. Then you got Wake Wake Forest. They're not very good. That's the last home game. Um, And then you have that game at Syracuse. Now, Syracuse lost, got got smashed by Pitt the other day. But if you saw that game, I mean, their court, I mean, court just was so bad. He threw four picks. I mean, three pick sixes. Was it four picks? Or you throw another one after that. He threw five picks. Sorry, but he threw three pick sixes. Um, I've never seen a team score 41 points with 217 yards of offense, and that's what Pitt did. Anyhow, that's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love to hear what you got. You got to say because I give facts over feelings, man. I'm a Hurricanes fan, but today was not impressive. I was not impressed at all. Just wasn't. Leave a comment. Leave a thought. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. And go hit up Rudy's Rant as well. Go subscribe at Rudy's Rant.com. Rudy's Rant on YouTube. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Come on now.